Hey guys, it's completely random dude. Today I'll be showing you how to make a negative or inverted cursor. Just ignore those three black dots. Those are just for, to show me where to put my cursor. I'm like, okay, to start off, you're going to need to drag the colors all the way up. And then, hold on, it won't let me select it. Okay, there we go. And then drag the opacity all the way down. So it should be 0, 0, F, F, F. F F F. Okay. And by the way, guys, this is in real world cursor editor, and I highly suggest getting it. I've used many cursor editors, and this has to be the best. Only so, okay. I prefer to have cursors with no tails, but it still has the arrow. So just start in the corner and drag it down and go like this in a diagonal line. And yeah, it's hard to work with negative cursors because it's really difficult to see where they are in the cursor editor. But okay, so now I'm going to drag, oops, just a second, I accidentally messed up, okay. So I'm going to bring it to here, and that's why I have the black dot there and there and there, it's because I'm showing myself where to drag it. Oh, whoops. Sorry that I keep messing up, but I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. And I need to get rid of the black dots now. And guys, make sure that there are no other colors whatsoever on the screen at all. So to make it just like this, or else it might not work correctly. Only you can see, you can see through the actual cursor, but the, the outline is negative. <clears throat> and don't use the, f the flood fill because it'll just mess things up. So just use like the pencil or the line or something and fill this in manually instead of automatically. Okay, and so now I have a negative cursor. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that was a really short tutorial, but still, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.